In the first two videos, I looked at retractable practice swords, but not everyone trains with these. Some prefer wooden, bamboo or metal versions. But why choose one over the other and which practice sword would be best for you? First up, subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified when I release more videos like these. Second, if you're thinking, look, how can I learn Tai Chi Sword? I've never even done any Tai Chi in my life at all till now. Well, don't worry about that. You're going to be fine. Unless, of course, you want to enter an international sword competition this week, or you're about to duel to death with a sworn sword enemy. Forget all the nonsense about having to learn 20 years of Tai Chi before picking up the sword. You learn the skills as you learn the skills. And it's not just me that says this. In the book Classical Tai Chi Sword by Petra and Toyo Kobayashi, they write, quote, it's not only the advanced Tai Chi student who can learn sword. The Tai Chi Sword is known in China as an independent path of exercise that doesn't necessarily require knowledge of the other forms of Tai Chi Juan. But first, a brief recap on the three retractable swords I used whilst running the online sword course this last year. Which did I end up keeping and which did I throw away? Number one, cheapo. As I mentioned in the other videos, this fell apart. I cut myself on the broken section areas and it was just too light and felt too cheap. Number two, the medium price sword was actually okay. It lasted the year. It weighed better, it had better balance, and was overall better constructed. But not sure how long it will last beyond that year. Third, and still the fave, it's without doubt the best retractable practice sword out there in terms of weight, quality of make, and it looks damn good too. And it's not as pretentious as the ornate cheaper versions. But I did promise to review the non-retractables, the three alternatives to the retractable training sword. During the first year that I taught sword to my class here in Spain, we trained with just this, or this, or this. Advantages. They are light to carry around, non-threatening, cheap to obtain and can be personalised. And the exercises can be varied and more experimental for they're less dangerous to use with partners. This is a great reason to embrace them in a class as everyone but everyone loves these interactive partner exercises and it really bonds students and keeps them motivated to learn. Finally, because they have no edges or weight, their use is more about developing patterns of movement and rhythm something that older students find with the heavier swords more difficult to grasp. Advantages. Well, they're cheaper than a metal sword and it clearly has edges, so it's good for teaching the sword form. And you can still engage in some good two-person play work, but you do need to be more careful as there's still the danger of hurting other people. Finally, it's okay to carry it around in public. Disadvantages of the wooden sword, and although it's heavier than the bamboo, it's still not as heavy as the metal sword, though this could be an advantage for some students with weaker wrists or arms. Some of the wooden swords are less well made with loose handles or rough edges, so shop around. They vary a lot in quality. Disadvantages of the metal are that they are more pricey. And though the edges of the practice swords are blunt, they are potentially more dangerous than either the bamboo or wooden swords. So you may want to consider that before buying one. They also need looking after, oiling and treating. And finally, they're more difficult to use in public without the anti-terrorist police turning up to question you. But the advantages are that they do feel real. They feel good. They're the right weight and they wobble at the end, whereas the wooden retractables do not. And other people take your study more seriously, rather than if you say practice with just the mop alone. So if you're just about
about to start sorting, you're not sure about whether or not you're going to continue with it, perhaps you're just trying it for the very first time, then don't spend any more than you need to at this stage. I'd get a bamboo cane, a walking stick, until you feel sword is right for you. In fact, whatever your level, there's always a good reason to have a cane to practice with. But what if you're about to start a beginner's sword class tomorrow? Anything will suffice, bamboo, wooden, or metal, it's all down to you. But if you're going to a class where you're going to be doing lots of partner exercises, try going for the wooden sword, as it's more durable, can take a few knocks, whereas the retractables and the metal are great for the sword form, but not so good for always dueling. If your class doesn't do partner work and you're going to be traveling on public transport, then check out a retractable because you can just pop it into your bag and no one's going to freak out seeing you get on board a bus with a sword. Find out more about training with a sword. Download the PDF on sword training from home with me. I hope this trilogy of videos has been of some use in your practice or in contemplating learning this very beautiful Tai Chi form. Thanks for watching.